What is going on everybody? Bullish Bears Kevin here. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be going over how to use the comparison study on Thinkorswim. The comparison study is really useful if you're an options trader like you trade SPY or SPX, but you like to chart on futures like ES or even NQ. And the reason for that is because futures are open 23 hours a day. So during the nighttime, there may be levels that are created that we might miss on SPY. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go to our chart settings and we're going to go over to price axis. We want to make sure that we have our left axis enabled on. And once we have that on, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our studies tab and we're going to either click add study and go with compare with and this is where you could choose if you want SPX instead of SPY or if you want custom symbol you click custom symbol and you type in whatever symbol you're interested in for me it would be SPY once I click OK it will automatically come on my chart but what you have to note is you have to make sure the settings are correct so another way we could do this is we could go into our studies and we go over here and we look up comparison and we're going to double click that to add it to our chart here's where we could change the settings what we're going to want to make sure is we have it set from bar to candle we want the left axis on and we want secondary security to be spy or spx or even if you're doing qqq in relation to nq the next thing we're going to want to do is come over to the colors tab and we're going to want to click a very dark color and after that we're going to click the HSL tab and we're going to want to bring the transparency all the way up. And the reason for that is because we're not too interested in what the candles look like because we're already watching the candles on ES but we're interested on where the price of SPY is. So once we add that and we have all the correct settings we're able to click OK, apply and you'll see that we now have SPY's price on the left hand side with ES being the chart that we're watching. I hope this video helped you guys. Hope you all have a great day. Happy trading. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Take care.